two ninety nine was on the right, right side going south. Go. Right, right. So he gave you this pistol right here. Yeah. And um, is it okay if I look at it? Sure. And uh, so he gave you this pistol at the. If I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you open it. If you don't mind. Yeah, it might be loaded. <laughs> <laughs> they're no good if they're not, are they? No, it's not loaded. I want you to look at that. There's a note I wrote uh, when. I don't know if I put the date on it or not. So friends, this pistol was given to him by Elvis at the office. And you told a story. You said that he asked you if you had a weapon. If I had a weapon there, yeah. And I didn't know, I didn't understand him. I didn't know what he'd say. I didn't, I said, what? Got a what? And he said, oh, you got a gun, a pistol? I said, yeah. <laughs> and so you had one there. Yeah, I had one there. And, uh, but he said, but I want you to have yeah, this one. Yeah, but I want you to have this one. I got one here I want you to have. And it's that gun. That thing still looks fantastic. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Here's a note I wrote if you want to read it. So you put this on a trip safari, trip facile. Uh -oh. Thing. And it says, this gun was gift from Elvis Presley. He gave to me one night when I had gone to the apothecary to fill a prescription for him from his dentist. He had a root canal done and the doctor gave him Dilaudid tablets. He told me, Elvis, that he would like to give me this nickel Colt revolver 38 special for being so nice to him. It's a detective special 38 Colt snub nose. It with rose handle grips. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Rose. Right. I've never fired this gun. It's loaded and I believe was loaded when Elvis gave it to me. <laughs> All right. A.L. Black. So you think, uh, were these the bullets that were in the gun? Yeah. yeah. So these actual bullets were the bullets that were in the gun. Right. And you can see, friends, that they are... Um, uh, what do they call those that have the hole in them? Hollow points. Hollow points. There you go. So Elvis put these bullets in the gun, friends, right there. That is amazing. There's a uh, charge I, I had. I just wrote it out rather than typing it. For, and I sent the statements to his father, Preston. And here's a... Here's a uh, and this is 1967 and 68. Yeah, I dated this one. 25th, January 25th, 67. Elvis gave me this 38 Colt stainless steel pistol tonight when I came in tonight to fill a prescription for him. I did so it. it was that, this actual prescription then? No, that's, this that's is, a you receipt. Just, oh, I you just did the receipt. Yeah. But here's a... So he got it on January 25th, 1967, friends, which was... Uh, right before he married Priscilla. Priscilla would have been later this in This may have been too. Here's, here's a couple of scripts at the same time. So that could have been when he, when he uh, or, or the, the doctor wrote so those. He may be down there to pick them up. So what is that one? Ox? Or enzyme. Or enzyme? That's a uh, enzyme for swelling, inflammation, kind of anti-inflammatory. Anti-inflammatory. And the other one is uh, phenophen with codeine. That's a pain pill. That's what Dr. Burrow gave him. And that was his doctor, Dr. Burrow, yeah. MD. But now, Dr. Burrow, this would have not been for the dentist. This would have been for no, just a regular No, that's the general practitioner that was in the office building with me. And that's at forty-two ninety-nine right there. Yeah. And you can see that he was at forty-two ninety-nine. dollars There's two more. Uh, pain pill and uh, phenadrine, phenadrine with co fe with codeine. Yeah. Oh, the same one as that right there yeah. with codeine, yeah. and that's two eleven sixty seven. Yeah, and uh, antibiotic there, Tetrix. And here's one for old Joe, Joanne, Joan Esposito. Yeah, Joe. Es so this would have been Joe or Joan. Was this Looks Joe's like wife? Looks like Joan. It looks like Doctor Parrot there. I believe. Yeah. And Joe was his sidekick, and I don't know yeah, who Joe's Joe was his wife sidekick. was. I don't, so I, must, don't, I don't know. I don't know what I did. That's something else. 
you've got some really neat stuff here. Now, would these have been physically brought to you? Yeah. By yeah. Elvis? Or by one of his guys? Uh, well, the doctor, he probably, he probably wrote it out and nurse brought it over there and said, okay. uh, somebody be by and pick it up. Right, and then you just filled it and somebody yeah. came and picked yeah. it up. That is incredible. That's actual prescriptions for Elvis. Dated yeah. and everything. Yeah. Amazing. I think this is just some, there's one handgun that, it got two hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. David Spiro Agnew. There's a, a reprint of of, of the his commercial appeal of the of that day. Death and all. August seventeenth, seventy-seven. Amazing. That's just a note about the auction they had. I got and wrote myself a note on there to. Because I'm sure you've had some people make you some offers on the gun. I know you had a guy that was going to try. Yeah, to, he was going to try to sell it, but I don't. You know, there's, there's so there's many a note people. from George Klein. That's where he notarized the statement. That... So he went to George, and this is uh, George Klein. It says, to whom it may concern, I, George Klein, do hereby verify I was aware of Elvis Presley's gift of one Colt Detective Special. Uh, 38 caliber nickel plated pistol serial number H17320 to AL Black Jr. Uh, DPH means uh, Dr. Pharmac Dr. Pharmacy, Dr. Pharmacology right, right. in the month of December uh, 1967, which is actually not correct based off of that as far yeah. as the month of it, but well, it's it still. Been, yeah, well, I don't know what. I probably got the wrong date or what. At a he time, got wrong. at the, at this time, Al Black Jr. was the owner of Black's Apothecary, located at forty two ninety nine Elvis Presley Boulevard. So that is interesting. That is an actual pharmacy receipt. That's where you filled That's, something and then charged it. Yeah, charged it right. Uh, and some of these charges on here are for his maid. Oh, really? That worked for him. Uh, that was one reason for setting it up. Then. Yeah, I see Alvina Ray. Yeah, right there, and that's for Elvis specifically. That is something else. That is interesting stuff. Right I there. thought I had a couple in there from uh, for his wife for the for Priscilla Priscilla for some uh, OBGYN stuff prenatal mm -hmm. when she was pregnant. But I guess it got misplaced or something. So it says a detective special. And that is a Colt brand. That's the real thing. That is an amazing story. So to open the chamber, I had to pull that back. It's a little tight, like you said. But it's a six-shot snub nose revolver for detectives used it generally do you have any other stories that you can think of that you want to share i mean this has all been incredible this is something that that fans have never seen before and that's that's what i look for good there's people just like you that were involved that had things with elvis that nobody knows about yeah and i'm i really am thankful that dr siegel uh uh made me aware of you and and gave me your email i emailed you but i didn't have the email right oh, and i okay. called him and he said oh no it's this and i went oh okay so i did it that's and when i knew i was coming is when i waited to email you when i knew i was coming to memphis and um uh, but this is this is incredible so friends there you have it a gun that was given by elvis that still basically looks brand new and he was uh Every time I had any dealings with him, when he came in, he was a perfect gentleman. He was uh, uh, awfully humble, polite, considerate. Uh, wasn't wasn't one of these cocky, arrogant kind of folks. He was right down to earth, just as nice as he could be. Just a good guy. Good guy. And, yep. and that radiates, I think, through everybody that I talked to that knew him personally or had any interaction with him says the same thing. Yeah. I've not found one person, well, oh, that guy was just a, you know, <laughs> no. you just don't hear that. 
No. And uh, so that speaks a lot uh, about him and about his character. And so, friends, these are two things you've never seen before. This jar, Elvis actually looked at and commented on the pills. And that gun right there, he gave to Dr. Black right here. Yep. Give them to me. There you go. Thank you so much, Dr. Black. It was a pleasure. Quite welcome. Thank you, Billy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you said you I, lived back there. Uh, yeah, I lived, but I lived about three blocks, four blocks in the Grayson subdivision. And my father in law, my wife's father, uh, developed Grayson. Because you mentioned to me that he was going to buy Graceland. He was going to buy it, yeah. He, was gonna, he, he looked at it. Uh, when he was looking to develop that, that that was part of it. Uh, I, I think of, uh, I forgot the name of the doctor, but a doctor owned all of that. Right. So he just bought the land back there to develop it to build the houses. Because back when that was just, a, it was Graceland Farms, uh, that all that back there was just farmland. Right. And there was a lake back there. Does, does your wife recall that lake? I think where the horse barn is in the far back corner, uh, where the road, where you go down Dolan and turn left, it, that road directly behind, yeah, that lay me back was on kind that of side. Because now I heard a story about that fence. The story that I heard, which was from somebody that would know, was that after that the fence was lower than it is now. Now it's an eight foot fence. They said yeah. back then it was a six foot high fence. I think so. And after Elvis passed, before they opened the mansion, they replaced all the fencing. And they gave people the anybody that lived that it was bordering them. They would ask them if they wanted it, and so they would allow them to have the uh, pieces of that six foot fence, the shorter version of it. So, friends, that's the incredible story of Doctor A. L. Black, pharmacist, that would fill pills for Elvis. Elvis gave him a gun. First time it's ever been shown, and also that giant pill bottle that Elvis would comment about. So now you know, here's another piece of the Elvis puzzle. Thanks for watching and tighten up every chance you get.